Hi, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my YouTube channel. A few days ago, I posted on my Instagram stories that I wanted to do a makeup challenge using this palette. And so what I did was I had people send me a letter and it's the letters that are in this palette that are labeled with. And the letter that won is B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyeshadow only using the B row. So that's this pretty row right here. I kind of have something already in mind. I saw a picture, um, no, I saw a video. Um, it was from Jocelyn Sanchez on Instagram and she posted something similar with these colors from her other palettes. And so I want to try and recreate that. I'll put um, a picture here, the video of the eye look she did. So I'm kind of going for that image. I already did my brows, so let's get started. So I already primed my eyelids using the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Waterproof Primer. It's amazing. Juicy Jazz recommended it here on YouTube, and I've been using that ever since. I used to use concealer, like any type of concealer, but Primers really make your eyeshadow pop more. It makes it a lot more vibrant. So that's why I like using it. I'm going to go in with B5 on a fluffy brush just to kind of use as my transition color and make sure everything's going to be even out. Sometimes I do transition colors. Sometimes I go straight in with the color that's boldest it just depends uh, but I feel like for this look and for this challenge I need to use that as a transition to, because the other colors are so vibrant and colorful I need to use that brown shade in some way okay I'm going in with the color B2 on this domed blending brush it's the perfect size for my crease and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the outer corner right here in the outer crease and just blend it outwards. Kind of give like a wing effect, but not too much. I'm with the color B4 on this brush from Anastasia. It's those dual ended brushes that come in their smaller palettes. So I'm going to take B4 and put that right in the crease next to the blue that I just laid down. I'm just First I'm stamping it in uh, where I want it and then I'm going to blend it out with the other side. So I'm putting this in the outer corner as well right here directly next to that blue. Okay, and now that I have it where I want it, I'm gonna take this end and just blend out the edges. And the same thing to the other eye, as you can see, it's pretty blended, um, but we're gonna go in with a different color and more blending so it's looking a little crazy right now but i have a vision and i promise i promise it's gonna look good it's gonna look good it better look good I'm losing a little bit of that blue on this side so i'm gonna go back in with the other brush and a little bit more and just kind of Okay, this eye is turning out completely different from this eye. Like, I put, I think I put way too much purple going this way, so it's not meshing as pretty as this side. I'm gonna see if I can fix it because I really don't want to start over. I'm gonna go in with B3 on a small little brush like this. I found this brush at Marshall's, I believe, in a kit. 
It was like $10. Um, I like because they're really small, so it makes it really easy for me because I have small eyes to get right in the crease uh, if I want like a certain color in a certain spot. So I'm going to go in in the inner part right here with that hot pink shade and blend it in towards the purple. So I'm going to go in one more time with the teal color, just a little bit more product on the brush and just kind of blend that this way. Again with the small brush that I use for the pink shade, no extra product, just going to blend the pink and over the purple. So a really cool trick I learned for cutting your crease because sometimes if you just go straight over the color with concealer it can end up coming up a little bit cakey and sheer and not you'll have to keep reapplying the concealer so that way you can get that even base that you want so what I do is I drench my brush that I'm going to be using in a makeup wipe that has cleansing water on it so I can really soak it and then just go in like if you're cutting your crease with concealer so you can get an even base Instead of concealer, I'm going to put eyeshadow primer right in that spot. Use a small little brush. This is a lip brush, I believe. This is from, this is from e.l.f. It's a concealer brush. It's like the tiniest one they have. So I'm just going to put it on that. flat brush this is also from shop masse aoa studios and i'm going to go in with b b1 and that's going all over my lid first i'm patting it down so it can really stick to the eyeshadow primer Now that both eyes have the lid shade on, I'm going to go back just with a tiny bit of that purple and blend out the outer edge right here where they meet. Use my e.l.f. poreless putty primer just all over the face. It looks darker than my other ones. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating Foundation. It's super amazing. But I've also mixed it with the original one, the matte, the matte one um, from CoverGirl. And it creates like the perfect, like 
satin finish. Struggle when it comes to finding like my perfect shade and foundations. Like they're either too light, too orange, wrong undertone. So <laughs> bear with me if this looks like a hot mess because I'm sure it does. I'll be using the CoverGirl <laughs> True Blend on the cover. Um, concealer. I'm using the shade Buff Beige. Let's do a swipe there. I don't, I don't like to put a lot on because this concealer a little goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is the translucent light. It does give flashbacks, so I don't like to set my full face with it I'm just gonna set like my smile lines uh, lightly under my eye and I'm going to be using um, this real techniques blush It's actually a contour brush but I feel like it's fits perfect for my eye and like where I want to set and right lightly dust my temples I also like to lightly set like right here where you put like your bronzer and blush so that way when you put those products it blends evenly and you don't have to like kick your face as much if you feel like you've added too much blush or bronzer which I feel like I did you could just lightly tap with your beauty blender the side that you applied the foundation and just kind of clean it up a bit or you can get a pressed powder with a powder brush and just kind of blend it out. I feel like I make this mistake a lot because I'm a little heavy handed when it comes to like those two products and usually I can't tell how much I'm applying. Okay for the lips what I did was I used the shade Teddy Bear from Live Glam and then I used a little bit of Lucky Charm to put right in the center and blend it out. So it gives a nice little, a little bit of an ombre effect and not too bold for the eyes. If you are interested in these lippies, I will leave a link below as well with my discount code. Live Glam is a subscription service. They have uh, lippies, uh, brushes, palettes. I love it so much. The formula is really creamy. They have glosses, lip scrubs, liquid lipsticks. Um, all kinds of lip products and to set my face the setting spray I use is the LA girl setting spray it smells really good very tropical and I like the way this look came out if you liked it um, give this video a thumbs up comment um, what other makeup challenges you like to see me do or any other types of makeup related videos you like to see from me Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So, this is it. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to follow my Instagram. I'm more active on there than possibly any of my other social medias besides Twitter. I will link everything that I use down below along with my social medias and live glam. Don't forget to check them out. I'm sure you'll love it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.